hi so we finished up all our views and now let's wrap up all the urls including the urls in the project urls.py file by setting up a quick authentication system that runs on top of that super user group that's why anyone that actually wants to create post need to be super users should be pretty uh, it's brief so let's get started so here i am at my editor and i will open up the urls.py file that corresponds to the my site project folder and here what i am going to do uh, say from django dot contrib uh, reauthorization contrib reauthorization import views and essentially what i am going doing is i am just importing some views just like i would from another application from the authorization application and we have seen this actually done before so let's set this up i'm going to call url and i'm going to create a domain slash accounts slash login okay this can be our login page and we are just going to call views dot login and give it the name login and then the next thing we are going to do is create our logout so accounts slash logout slash dollar sign in here we will say views dot logout so give it uh, uh, the name logout and uh, then give it some keyword arguments or some kw args so we can collapse that dictionary tree give ourselves a little more room here and then we'll say equal to and what we'll do is we'll give it uh, the next page so that's the next page it's going to go to and we'll have it go with a value of just a forward slash so when you log out the next page you go to is just the home page which is our post list page okay so those are the url patterns and if we check out under registration we have our login html page which is ready to go so let's fill that out right now and we'll say that this extends from uh, blog based html And depending on what plugins you have for this item this could be syntax highlighted and will we eventually have some base html block so i'm going to say block and we will have some sort of content block content block which will have behave as our body block that we have usually seen you can basically call it whatever you want and then we will need a call block and here and block and this is essentially going to be our login page so i am going to have it uh, be a jamotron uh, theme that is template bootstrap template eventually the base html file what we are going to end up doing is sending a link to bootstrap and we'll just say something like please log in and then after that we will have uh, our tree and in parenthesis will remind the person must be a super user please check with the site admin just uh, some uh, sort of uh, message there to indicate hey you must be a super user if you are not checking the site admin and then here we can add in some logic and we are going to say as if the form dot errors and then whatever whatever 
we have an if you should have an end if so that's the case so if our form has any errors in it meaning essentially there was not a match between the user or the password i'm going to have something pop up here saying your username and password did it match so uh please try again otherwise we'll just continue on with this form so we will create a form tag and it doesn't need a class and for the action we are going to have it do is go to the login page so this action set of indexed html i'm just going to have it using url template text so well login here and uh, we are basically since we are in our urls.py file pointing everything as far as our templates to go straight to the blog uh, i don't have like we have typically seen something like blog colon login because there are no templates at the site level everything goes to the blog so in that case i can kind of simplify things by just saying login and we will discover that more as we mess around more template but we also don't need uh, okay actually let's make this capitalized just uh, so it's clear but what we do need excuse me is the uh, uh, so sorry so is the csrf token here so let's add it that in and we'll say if CRF, uh, csrf token and uh, then uh, after that we are going to have uh, form dot as p okay and as underscore p so that create the paragraph form and uh, after that we need some input so we'll have submit button and let's give this a class that's going to align with the bootstrap classes uh, button btn primary eventually you will start kind of memorizing more and more of these buttons classes and it does not need a name because we are not linking it to anything html wise but we give it a value and let's just have the button so say something like login and then beyond that uh, what we want this to have is our some hidden input so we'll give this a hidden input the name will be uh, next and the value is just going to be next here okay and this basically has to do with the view that we are operating with uh, so if we come back to urls.py this login page essentially this views login it's going to uh, supply this next value for us which is going to allow us to kind of deal with what to do next after this uh, person's been logged in and let's make sure this div is closed and that's it so that's our entire login html and that's all we have to do for the url space in the actual form so if we come back here this is all we need to do so we should just have these url patterns two of them dealing with login and logout setting up the admin and then including blogs that url all right so pretty brief lecture but basically all our login and authentication step as far as actually going into registering on the site should be done for us up next what we have to do is take care of this rest of these template and that's what we are going to do in the next lecture.